Welcome back if you're just joining us. This is Relationship Wednesdays right here on KTN Life and Style. And our topic today is all about domestic violence. And to narrow it down, why do spouses choose to stay in abusive relationships? And to join us in this conversation, we have my co-host Susan, we have Dr. Nderito, and we have the JB Masanduku. So before we took the break, um, JB was talking about how men as well get to experience abuse, physical abuse even, from women. And... Apparently, women are talented at verbal abuse. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get back to that, but first and foremost, using the hashtag Katie and Life and Style, we have some of your responses. Uh, and on Instagram, remember, you can DM me at uh, an underscore Nixie. I almost said S underscore Joro. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but um, we have Mogambi here. She says, um, I hate to say this, but in this instance, I wouldn't even care about the kids. I'm going to leave the relationship. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we have Fernard Fashion House uh, saying, can never be me. And then we have Pauline Kabi. She says, uh, no, a toxic relationship leads to a toxic environment, which is not even good for your kids. And then she continues and says, but anyway, what do I know? I don't have kids. I cannot judge those who choose to stay. That's a good place to actually pick the conversation. Yeah. Because, I mean, why do people just don't leave, you know? And then we have Nyambura M saying, uh, I'd say no, but I wouldn't want for my kids to feel any less normal. I mean, in school, at home, etc. So I really don't know if I'd stay. Wow, people are actually really thinking about yeah, this. Yeah, they actually um, are. It's a lot. Uh, we have uh, Vani069 uh, saying, uh, no way. Uh, see what I did there? Okay, now that I have... Okay, wow. This, that that, that not comment <laughs> went nowhere. I absolutely <laughs> it didn't really end. agreed with that yeah. point that Dr. Grace raised in the earlier part of the show, where Regal underscore Lota said, believing someone will change is a lot of the reason that people decide, decide to stay in abusive That's true. I have Mary underscore Wonders who said Stockholm Syndrome. Mm. Now, you, you can go a little mm. bit into more detail on mm. that, but I believe it's the syndrome where if you're kidnapped or you're mm. taken hostage by mm. somebody, then over time you start yeah. creating a relationship with that person and you eventually become quite comfortable and quite happy mm. with your kidnapper mm. or abuser. Um, I say Somebody here said, not understanding the meaning of love according to the Bible. Mm. And I have Chrissy underscore Chris who said, fear of being alone. Mm. Most people are afraid of their own like just staying solo and leaving the relationship mm -hmm. um, but yeah there's more responses guys keep them coming using the hashtag ktn life and style or you can talk to me and nixie directly on our social medias um now jb you were talking about when the abuser is female because that's not usually talked the about case. a lot yeah. yes, and the yes. experienced men have reported <coughs> yes um especially um the the first question usually is i'm a kuchapa yeah. Because mm. oh. you know f it looks abnormal. So you must have exactly. Uh, you know it looks absolutely abnormal. Like you know, like I come on. Hey, but regardless of what you've done, y violence, you know, yeah, true, bro. True, yeah, true. And uh, it, it, it I, I don't know whether it's necessary or Baba, the boy child, who has brought this upon ourselves. Because it's very rare for somebody to talk about it until it's 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 too late. Right. And, 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 and 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 you know, you we are we um we are we we grow up. Mm. Being told you're strong, yeah. sound, yeah. yeah. So whatever kind of abuse, because it, I don't believe it starts with just physical. Mm. It starts with you know, yeah. uh, it's a build yeah. up, like yeah. she yeah. said, verbal, yeah. mm -hmm. psychological, mm -hmm. you know. And and by the time it gets to physical, mm. um, then then society they, they, they don't understand it. Mm. Yeah, you know, mm. they, they, they don't, don't understand, understand it how. because because uh, like if you're in a public place and um, you you like uh, verbally abuse a lady mm. it, it becomes hey you're not a gentleman hey yeah. maze mm. buddha unangusha boy child yeah, yeah. but yeah. if she tells you uh, something uh, bad uh, you know abuses you in public mm. most you know guys will go like oh ama hey there's mm. something you're, you're doing wrong mm. you know mm. yani you deserve it yeah. that's yeah. Like, you yeah. 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 you deserve it and then also we're forgetting the fact that usually especially at a tender age the kids are more attached to the mom yeah Mm. So it's very easy mm. for the, 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 the woman to abuse you both physically, emotionally, psychologically, and at the same time turn the kids against mm. you. Right. Mm. Yes. Playing the good cop yes, all the time. Yes. And yeah. turn the kids, you know. Because they spend majority of the time with the child. Uh, and yeah. Exactly. And, and you know the, 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 um, the, the, the first attachment of the child to the mother. Mm. Uh, for real, when a child, before a, a child knows what's right or wrong, mm. mommy is right. Mm. Yes. Mm. That's true. You know, mommy is right. Before they know what, what is happening, mommy is right. right. So, of course, 
boy child at ataumia i don't know what happened to uh, uh, chama cha wababa maendeleo ya wana lakini unajua baba anasema nga wa mama anaenda hizo chama kupoteza time ati hawana hizo pesa za chama mali zinaenda nga we need moments conference we need moments yes. conference other than the one that's held on 14 february we need more from boys conference even we're growing up to men's conference up to naumia but then again um dr nderito where does it start of course we have platforms like this one where we are trying to shine light on the topic and only recently have people gotten uh more open to speaking about uh psychological abuse yeah but where do where should people start like how would i know i'm a prospective victim to abuse? the red flag yeah well when you are dating Mm-hmm. We all know we all all have that instinct mm-hmm. that uh, I that wasn't right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. that wasn't right. So once one of the things that we need to do is to educate ourselves on normal relationships. What they look what love looks, looks like. like. Right. Mm-hmm. We need to understand that there is a thin line between love, jealousy and obsession. So so for instance, a guy who tells t- I'm going to talk about girls okay, guys too but a guy <laughs> a guy who tells you uh you say oh I'm going to the salon today uh-huh. and then he says oh I would like to take you and then um he offers he takes you and he offers to actually pay for for it uh-huh. that's up to that point it's okay okay because i was gonna uh, be like if this is a red flag i was like this is <laughs> something like a dream i was like a girl needs okay. to get some breathe Until done until you say vile unataka kushukwa and then he says no nafikiri mtengeneze hivi na hivi and when they will say no 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 uh, see hivyo nataka okay. nataka uh-huh. and then he gets upset wow the same thing with a guy yes. you go you are going to buy your shirt mm-hmm. and your woman comes says oh i want to go with you yeah. and so you go and you choose and she says No I don't think that. Um yeah. I yeah. I like and, and you uh, of course as a guy you are going like yeah she women know colors more mm-hmm. than we do. Mm-hmm. But then you really feel that this is the style you want and uh, and then she gets upset, she storms out of the store or she even tells you at a way how una sense your fashion when people react to things that are so mundane small, small yeah. that's a, 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 a sign of control it's a sign of i want you to do me so you you have no rights yes. so they victimize you but it is very subtle mm-hmm. and then and then the next time you go out and then they really get get upset they don't talk to you this is the thing when somebody begins to give you silent treatment They don't talk to you for days on end because of something ulienda badala ya kukula chips ukakula kuku or whatever things like those or you were at work and you couldn't pick up their calls and they constantly come to the office to just check why are you not picking up my calls wow. these okay. are small things yeah. that can clue you to the fact that this person does not have what we call basic respect for your space and kidogo that child you see it's easier for men to fall victim yeah. because uh, with that example me tafikiria ah ni leo tu ni mamoods anakuanga hivi yeah. and you know yeah. women are emotional people right. yes. wow. and be- before yes. you know it wow. so okay. so you need to do that mm. now we normally say that uh, the first three months of of a relationship is dating period uh-huh. and what is dating gathering information but how many people are meeting you, you are meeting somebody and the second date is courtship courtship is supposed to be i have known this person yeah. and i period think they, and they have the values yeah. and they have the kind of life and the kind of the way that they deal they do life it connects with me And so now I can go to the next step of looking at them as a potential long-term partner. Mm-hmm. But most of us, what are we doing? We are starting off some some people are starting off with marriage and then they are dating <laughs> <laughs> after <laughs> that. <laughs> wow. So oh they are gathering way, information. Yeah. So so now yeah. so this is one of the things that we have to do in order for us to really understand how relationships work. Mm-hmm. We've got to stop this whole thing of just falling into things right. falling in love L- think about it falling in why love why are you anguka why are you anguka anguka lakini na plan fikiri eh na plan huwa na fikiria understand that the dating period is for gathering information, information. 
But then so, it feels like a work study, like it's no, three no, no, months. Not so really. I'm just but like, it's important not really, though. Uh -huh. It is because important. you don't have to commit. You see, the problem ah. we have mm. is that we are committing too early to somebody we do don't not know. know. No, no. That's, that's normalized we're, though. We're watching, yeah, we're we're watching watching very yes. fast. Yes. Yeah. And that is what is causing And now I'm not saying, I'm, I'm really not saying that every relationship, maybe I met my husband three months, we got married. So I'm not saying that every relationship is going to follow that. But right. for the most part, get to know this person before you put everything in there so that you understand who are they what values do they have right i will tell you this every single person who is not married you need to have your 10 must have in a relationship uh -huh. and 10 i cannot stand mm. for me it was it was uh, anger mm. outbursts of anger like and i am telling you i dated a guy the day that i saw that anger nilimalizana Si kukaa pale ati nina debate. Mm. Why? Will change, because will I, learn, I already uh. had grown to understand that mm. I can't stand that. Mm. And I can't be around to help somebody change that. Now, everybody will be different. But that wasn't the only thing. Mm -hmm. There were other nine things nine nine that had uh -huh. happened. Uh -huh. Because now I had heard about his story, mm -hmm. his uh, history, a relationship and all that. And I could see there was still a lot of un and resolved anger. So when he had, it wasn't, the anger wasn't towards me because we were just starting to date. Mm. Yeah. It was towards a stranger. It, so like when I effort. saw it, I said to myself, mm hmm, and then I remembered what we had. Oh. So this is what I'm saying. When you have that sixth sense that this person is not okay. Use it. Pay attention to, to it. it yeah. And it's okay. You are not, don't feel guilty because you are judging behavior. Mm -hmm. It is important for you to be able to be a good judge of people's behavior. Because the, the, the issue of respect for personal space mm -hmm. is very important. Mm -hmm. Because when I put my hands on you, I disrespect your personal space. Yeah. We normally say when we teach children about personal space, we say arm's length. Now my arm is very tight. That's yeah. what they were teaching yeah. us in school. Yeah, arm's length. Well, now you remember. Arm's length. Yeah. yeah. So something to do with the arm's length. You know, up to here, <laughs> this is my, <laughs> this my, is my space. Yes. Yes. And true. this is what happens. Uh, uh, even animals, the fight flight response uh -huh. is when I feel attacked then I will fight or, or I will run. Away. run. Yeah. You know, I will yeah. go and hide. Yeah. It's natural. Okay. And so we need, now as a human beings, yeah, we have words. We are not like animals. Uh, yeah, we don't so need to communicate. Fight. Yeah, yeah. So communicate. when I set my space yes. and you violate it, mm -hmm. that is a sign that you don't have respect for me. Yeah. And so what happens to Kizoyana? Na unajua mukisha aishi na mtu munazoyana. There is that Kuzoyana and, and, uh, and now I can be myself. I can just relax. Mm -hmm. So if when you don't know me so well, you can't respect my personal space. Then. I will say this, even for, for, for men and women who are dating, and you tell somebody, don't call me when I'm at work, and they call. So, ukifungua simu, unapata... 26 missed calls. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was a very accurate. specific number. <laughs> 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 Guys, we are going to ask JB about those 26 <laughs> missed calls. Uh, but first, I want you guys to have another look at what people had to say on the streets on abusive relationships. What one has taken abusive relationship dia one sababu ya ku maintain the marriage the other thing ni story na watoi and the other thing ni story na hazia konado unapiga 1 2 3 unaona ai itabidi tu mistake kwa hiyo relationship ju hazia konado au na otherwise people fear being uh, staying alone they are fear they fear um, uh, people are lonely you know so that loneliness make them just trying to hope that uh, the relationship will work. But uh, back in the mind or uh, when you go behind the curtains, people are suffering. So that's why people just try to, it's, just, it's about having hopes that things will work out. Guys, we have been discussing abusive relationship. If you're just joining us, that was what people had to say on the streets about why people stay in abusive relationships when they are suffering. So there's been a number of things listed. There's economic issues. Mm -hmm. The abuser has money. Mm. I do not have or I don't feel I can 
keep up my lifestyle for myself and my children if I leave. Mm -hmm. There is, people do not want to be alone. They don't want change. You were in a relationship or you were married and then now you're single. Mm -hmm. And then there's also now, of course, staying for the sake of your children. Mm -hmm. You want to keep the family together. Mm -hmm. um, earlier on in our discussion, we talked a lot about when you are now seeking help. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you're really messed up and you go to your family or you go to your pastor or whoever it is, a neighbor, a friend for help. I want you guys to talk to us about what that response should be for people to actually get the help that they need. Mm -hmm. When people go to family, instead of being told, go back, your mother's telling you, Rudy, or your friends, people ridiculing you even when you report. For anyone watching us and listening who doesn't know what mm -hmm. the response should be, and this person might actually be suffering, mm -hmm. what advice do you have for the person being reported to? Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, most probably, I'd say look at the root of the problem. I, I don't know why this has not come up uh, during this entire uh, conversation, but I've realized in most of these abusive cases, alcoholism is part mm. of it. Oh. More mm. often than not, by the way. Alcoholism Wait, is Wait, is that like a thing that for sure if uh, like an abuser has to be addicted to a certain drug? No, not really. Not but necessarily. Most, mo most cases. Yeah. I don't know what you oh have, yeah? Dr. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, not even the abuser, mm -hmm. even the... I need to abuse the victim. The victim and he's uh, he's okay, like let, let me now get a baba, yeah? Yes, yeah, yes, you, yeah. You, you, you come home, you, you're drunk, so you w once you're abused, um, you, you, you're not in the right state of mind to actually seek help mm. or um, I won't say defend yourself because it's not a fight <laughs> it's you're the, you're the victim yeah yeah but uh, it's uh, I'd say for example if you're seeking professional help uh, look at the uh, root of the problem mm -hmm. and also um, address address both both parties yes address both parties mm -hmm. like yeah address both parties like uh, if you've been through go like as, as you're saying mm -hmm. this the, the telltale signs mm -hmm. like this this person does a b c d this is how I respond. Mm. You get because I've I've realized I've realized some guys come for help and they're just the victim. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like um, I was once told because um, I, I dated someone who was abusive and um, and and a friend advised me do this be the first one to run to the cops because if she goes to the cops before you oh it's definitely you, gonna you be, you the get, yeah, be the first to run to the cops you know right then uh, somebody else was like you guys go seek professional help mm -hmm. and when i advised this person to re seek professional help they went behind my back and did like four sessions mm -hmm. so by the time i'm wow. going to the counselor you go Sasa wewe unajua ubaya yako I'm like I haven't even introduced myself. <laughs> wow. Hata unijui who you understand? Yeah, but they already have a pre Yes, ex exa set. exactly. Mm. So it, it it means um I mean it's it's a, it's a two-way traffic. Mm. It's a two-way traffic. Give both sides of the story. This is what happens. Mm. This is how I I respond. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but a lot of abusers it sounds like a strategy. Yeah. It's yeah. and then they're so smart. Mm -hmm. They know they know what you're going to do. They know what your response yeah. is going to be. Mm -hmm. So they uh, they come to you with a response right. mm -hmm. before you even get to that. Mm -hmm. But there's something you talked about mm -hmm. uh, in connection to what JB has just said, yeah? You you have you have to take like three months yeah. to try understand this person mm. that you're dating. Mm. But then again, when I look at a lot of uh, stories that I've mm. had out there, mm. a lot of abusers come to you and they have this facade. Yes, of and course. they can hold on to the facade for up to six months. Yeah. So I mean, if I'm gonna go with three months and this guy has, you know, he's been a good guy all this time, mm -hmm. and then after that he does a mistake. And you know what? I'll actually believe I'm the one who's made him do that mistake. Now that's gaslighting, yeah? yeah? Because he's been good all this time. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's such a thin line, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> the, thing is, the, the thing is that um, a lot of us, the reason why we cannot mm -hmm. tell, th there is no way somebody is going to p keep up a facade for three months. Mm -hmm. It's three straight months. It's because they come in and they are so passionate and they are so they give you something that you didn't have mm -hmm. so you don't see you, see, you know when we are in mm. love we have rose blind in love yeah. mm -hmm. so we don't even when we mm, go like ah, we don't the thing is you need to understand that uh, that uh, you have a right to be respected most of the times the little things that abusers do that could clue us in as, as the red flags because they are very subtle who, who thought mm -hmm. that going to buy a shirt for, for JB mm -hmm. can be a sign? A big a deal. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. What we are looking for is this, which is what we need to understand. If a person does not 
respect your personal space. Showing up at your house at 10 o'clock at night because amekuwa kikupigia simu na huchukui. That means that they don't respect you and they don't believe you. They don't trust you. Mm. And so they have to come around. I had a situation one time of somebody who told the person they were dating mm -hmm. within two weeks of dating, mm. if you want this relationship to go on, you have to move in with me. Oui. Two weeks. Two weeks. Oh. So when I asked mm. about that, mm -hmm. where does that come from? Right. It's what you are talking about. Yeah. Root causes. Even alcoholism is not a root cause. Mm. Alcoholism is a way of coping with something else. Sure. Mm -hmm. So depression mm -hmm. is a big part mm -hmm. of, uh, of why people get in, uh, stay in abusive relationship. And because I have a negative view of myself and I'm not empowered psychologically to think I can be able to fight this. Right. Mm -hmm. Personality differences also. So you have, the, you know, there the are people we call empaths. Mm -hmm. And empaths are the people who are very conscientious about other people's needs. Yes. In other words, they are melancholics. They mm. think deeply, they care so deeply, they yeah. are self-sacrificing, mm. they are very dependable, yeah. and they, they are not quick to judge people negatively. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even if they feel it, they hold it to themselves, but they are perfectionists. So they think, I have to keep working harder. They mm. can't accept failure. Mm. And so they stay in these abusive relationships because they are feeling and they are thinking. Now, they attract people who are on the other spectrum, mm. who right. have low levels of empathy. You see? Yeah. So this empath empathetic person is going to see this other person as a project. No, no. You do good and they will turn around. Yeah. No, no. But if a person is a narcissist, they have narcissistic they taking tendencies. And taking from the empire. All and they taking. want yes. is to have this power and control yeah. and to feel they are on top of things. So even when they are nice to you mm. yeah. and they bring you something, it's because yeah. there is a payoff for them. Wow. And that is what you have to understand. So mm. no matter how much you talk to them, no matter mm. how Nothing. much you do, that person will not change to be who you want them to be. To be yeah. Yeah. They may not. There are people who do not have the ability to have meaningful, intimate relationships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because a meaningful, intimate relationship means that I have to give of myself mm -hmm. to you, and you give of yourself to me, and together, 100%, we are giving. Mm. See. I think we're starting to get into exactly what a normal relationship yeah. should feel like. But before we get into that, uh, guys, we're going to take another short break. And when we come back, we're going to have more cases for you. We're going to have more Vox Pops on what people are saying in the streets. And we're going to go review all the responses that we have on social media using the hashtag KTN Life and Style. Let's take a break. Mm -hmm.